I'm recording. All right. Yes, I am recording. Haha. <laughs> right, well, boys and girls, it is me basically doing a live commentary, a live gameplay of Battlefield 3 because everybody has been asking in the Rush Rape and Pillage episodes to do a Battlefield 3 commentary, to do a Battlefield 3 episode of Rush Rape and Pillage. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm not actually doing my voice over the game. Where, no. I'm not actually doing the voice over my game. I'm doing a live com, so it's me talking, me playing. If you can hear the click, click, clicky, clicky, clicky in the background, sorry. But I'm trying to work out in audacity how to cut out the decibels of the clicking, but still keep the decibels of me talking. So if I find that out, you won't hear any clicking in this. And if I don't find that out, you'll hear clicking in this. Because when I played League of Legends on the commentary, you could hear clicking all the time. And some people like that clicking. And some people hated that clicking. But the thing is, is that a person? Yes, it is a person. But I can't hit him, damn it. Anyway, on Battlefield 3, if I were to use a normal gun, I'm terrible. I'm so shit at a normal gun. You give me any normal gun that shoots bullets like automatic, semi-automatic on the game, I would make the gun look like it's firing tampons. I'm useless with it. If you were to give me a sniper with anything on it, a sniper with an ACOG, a sniper with a times 9 a times 12 scope, I would absolutely destroy it. But I found out lately, I have been using all snipers. And sniper gameplay does look really good and I do destroy with a sniper. But I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone and use an AK-74. Because if I don't... AK-47, sorry. Uh, because if I don't... Then, obviously I get a good gameplay, but I want to do something different in this commentary. I want to rush, rape and pillage. So I think I've got the rushing sorted, but technically I'm not really rushing because I'm defending. But you get what I mean, I'm raping. So, one out of three is not bad. Hopefully later I will be pillaging. But at the moment I'm raping, it's all good, I'm raping. Now, what I want to talk about in this uh, commentary... Is basically all the new games. So it's so hard I'm going to die. I think I'm going to die. So hard to talk. Ah, medikit. There's a medikit on that floor over there. I'm going to run to it. I'm going to run to it. Yes. Oh, I got my health back. Damn it. Died. Anyway, no. What I'm going to be talking about for the second time is all the new games that are going to be coming out this year. And it's going to be Black Ops 2, which I personally, I have actually seen black ops 2 footage in game i've been asking jimmy like chaos silencer rick and og walrus like basically the managers of yaos which i'm now like the uk partner manager if you don't know and also do europe but i've been asking them like asking them asking them like can i can i can i please can i please 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 but i actually have seen footage and no person who has in-game footage of them actually playing Black Ops 2 in game and about five minutes and it looks okay it doesn't look amazingly good it looks like a cross between Crisis and Call of Duty all the like the way all the bullets are laid out differently everything's laid out differently it looks like you move the same as Black Ops but you don't move the same as like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 it doesn't look like that feeling but what can I say? I haven't actually played it. I've just seen it. But I was literally begging Rick and begging Chaos. Please, can I put it up on my channel? Mainly because I know if I put it up, it's going to get like 2, 3 million views like my other video did. But then, again, there's a chance of my YouTube getting banned or getting a strike on it. I don't really think it's worth the risk. So, from my point of view, it's not worth the risk for me posting it up and then me not making any more videos for my subscribers. But can I just say, it doesn't, in my personal opinion, it doesn't look that good. But then again, I'm a really old school. Oh, I know, I died. I'm really old school. I think, personally, the best Call of Duty games that ever come out got revived, yes. The, the personal best game of Call of Duty, in my eyes, is COD 4. Nothing will ever be COD 4 on PC on xbox on ps3 in fact i don't know about ps3 shit but on pc or xbox nothing will ever 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 be 
COD 4 or COD 2. Now COD 2 on Xbox not too good because they never actually fought COD 2 through. Because gaming wasn't really big back then. People just wanted to play, have fun. It wasn't really big so people could swap teams whenever they wanted to. But if you ever played COD 2 on like Xbox, people would always switch teams and it was 4v4. Just say so if you had three people in one team, two people in the other team, if that person, if that team with two people were losing, then one person would join the other team and make it four versus one, which was really unfair. So it's, it's just really shit in that manner. But when COD 4 come out, and on COD 2 you can change your classes, could do anything. There were basically set classes you had to pick, with like snipe all that. Which was good in its own way because everybody was equal. But then COD 4 come out where you customise your classes. You can have skins like camos on your gun of your choice. You had to work for them. You didn't just have to buy them. Like in Black Ops where you could just buy anything. Just not gold. Anything you wanted on your gun you could buy it. No matter what level you are. Well, apart from red dot and everything, but the camos. No matter what level you are, you could buy it if you had if you had the opportunity to buy camos. You could buy any camo that you wanted and customize your gun, which I think was shit. I would like to work for my camos, get headshots for my camos. Like I remember playing COD 4, and I played literally like three days straight, playing the sniper to get red tiger on it. But I was literally playing three days straight. I know people used to headshot boost and all that. But it was just the aspect of COD 4. Even the competitive aspect of COD 4. I used to love it. But anyway, on with the Black Ops 2. It looks between uh, Crisis and Call of Duty. It looks like the cross between that. Somewhere in the middle. More aiming towards Call of Duty. But personally, I love... I'm a secret Crisis fan. Even though I've never posted up Crisis videos like Crisis 1, Crisis 2. Watch the Crisis 3 trailer and it looks fucking amazing. That crossbow or that, that bow thing that fires shears looks amazing. And like I said, I'm a Secret Crisis fan and I used to play Crisis when I was younger. Like actual Crisis. I know I'm going to get stoned for this. I used to have an Alienware PC. I know most people might know this, like if you knew my other YouTube channel where I had lots of subscribers. I think I had like 27,000 last time I had looked on the channel before it got banned, but I had 27k subscribers. And I used to have the Aurora, Alienware Aurora PC. And I was so naive back then, I was young, I was naive. And I thought that Alienware PCs are the best PCs in the world and sorry I just had to pick the sniper I've missed I just had to pick this sniper purely because I was doing shit damn it I keep messing up the range I won't miss again I won't miss Jason you won't miss Jason you won't miss damn it <laughs> you won't miss again come on All right. yes headshot right I won't miss after this I'm going to be like fucking Houdini. But anyway, I used to have an Aurora PC. And I'm talking of concentrating. Fucking yes. Come on. So, I'm so competitive right now. Come on. Come on. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to rape with this Barrett now. But anyway, I can talk and play at the same time. Come on, Jason. Dink. 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 I just banged the desk. Like, come on. No, but um, I'm a Secret Crisis fan. I used to have an Aurora PC, which when I was younger, I was so naive thinking that Alienware PCs were the best PCs in the world. Now, a few years later, building, I don't know how many PCs I've built. Quite a lot of PCs. I've helped out with quite a lot of PC builds as well. Quite a lot of people messaged me on YouTube saying, look, I'm building a PC. Are these specs good? And I would generally answer them. And is that enough? Yeah. So I, I was like, is that a tree? So it's really late at night. It's like, is that a tree? Is that a, a, a person kill him? But generally, a lot of people message me on their PC builds, whether it's a 2600K to 700K with a GTX 580, GTX 560. I would generally tell you, they ask me, like, what can it do? Because I've seen so many. Oh, person. Kill him. M9. Fucking yes, yes. 
M9 suppressed fucking rapes. That was all my trigger finger. That's right, I've got some good finger banging skills. <laughs> That's what they all say. Right, any more people? Sorry, I keep going off the topic. This is what I do when I play, like, let's, like, not let's play, but like live stream commentaries. I, I'm so focused in the game that I can't play a game or talk at the same time without being in the game at the same time, without actually focusing on the game. Because if I do that, I'll just play bad and I'll just keep dying. But anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump straight on from the PCs because you all know I know about PCs and whatnot. But I like, like I said, I'm a big Crisis fan, and Crisis Three looks like the ultimate fucking game I'm gonna be playing on PC. Also, ah, that was a fantastic kill. Anyone see that kill? Of course you did. Cause you're watching. Epically fantastic. Yeah, good shot. But. I, wow, that block just got disintegrated. I love this fucking game so much. Come on, let's kill him. Yeah. Accuracy medal, 10,000 points. See, when I have the sniper, I just absolutely... Ah, I got stabbed. Okay, I'll take that back. When I have a sniper, I get stabbed in the back and get bummed. But no, when, normally when I have a sniper in this game, I absolutely, I destroy people, as you saw there. But with a normal gun, you can give me a normal gun, even if I could kill in one bullet, I don't think I'd be good as I would be the with a sniper. Uh, I don't know how long this game is. I, I totally don't play Battlefield too much. Like I always end up jumping on Team Fortress 2. I think the next Let's Play... Not let's play the next Rush Rape and Pillage episode is actually going to be on Team Fortress 2. So put in the comments below whether you think it, what game it should be on because I think I haven't done I've done two on Call of Duty. This is going to be the third one on Battle Ah uh, shit, third one on Battlefield and the fourth one on Team Fortress 2. I actually really like playing Rush Rape and Pillage because I don't know I just like the feeling of that would sound really wrong. So, I like the feeling of rushing and pillaging. And not raping. Raping on the game. So, yes. I'm getting shot at here. Where am I getting shot from? Ah, uh, it's all good. But no, I can't play and do this at the same time. It's so hard. What the hell? This is so difficult. I actually really admire people who can talk and play like a really hard game and talk at the same time. Just like when I play League of Legends, oh my Jesus. I'm so silent. And when I'm not silent, I'm raging. I'm like, fucking hell. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Come on. No. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes. Actually doing pretty well to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna go down here because there seems to be a lot of people in our spawn. Like What the fuck? They're just like chilling in the spawn. Like just chilling. This is not MSN guys. There's no people gonna be in here. Like I swear some people on PC purely just go into a game to talk and chat. Rather than actually play the game, they just go in the game just to chill. Literally, and this is something I hate about the game. It's something I also love about the game. The fact that you can go on PC and you don't actually have to sweat off your balls. Because some a lot of people are really relaxed. I didn't kill him. A lot of people are really relaxed. Yet again, a lot of people are really competitive. Like, amazingly competitive. I'm 20 to 5. And what is the time? Shit, I'm being loud for this time, but I don't care. So, now what shall I be? Yes. Now we've uh, got a base exploded, I'm going to be this guy. Well, in fact, what is the time in? Well, I've been playing for about 15 minutes, haven't I? Something like that. I've got really good time scales, but when it comes to gaming, I could be playing a game for like three hours, not even notice. Best thing about Battlefield on PC is you could have like really hot. Oh, I had a shot. But no, 
on PC you could have a lot of tickets. Like I've I've even seen two thousand ticket games. Two thousand ticket games. It's ridiculous. You can play it all day and still not win. How ridiculous is that? Whereas on Xbox, like the tickets are really low. Why won't you die? I'm just gonna go get him. I think. Oh, that should kill him. Yes, that did kill him. Hello. Uh, where are they coming from, all these people? They're like, just parachuting in. Oh, what the fuck? Camping here. <laughs> I, lo I just love Battlefield 3 because of the atmosphere. Like I've said before, I've played this on Xbox and the atmosphere is so different. It's not like you're in a war. Whereas in PC, fuck me. Like if my, if I die, my, it's like my leg disappears. It's like, oh, what? Where is it? Come on. I've got a habit of knifing in this game. Come on. No, he's not there. He's disappeared. Ah, uh, there he is. Fucking Houdini jumped out. But where is he? He just appears on the box like a magic magician. I believe this is a French server. <laughs> After seeing that writing. Uh, the fuck is smoke coming from the ceiling? I can actually play this game and record and no lag at all. No lag. Ultimate. Play ultimate and record. No lag at all. Ridiculous. I have no clue how long this game is going to be. Yes. Really concentrating now. Really concentrating. But anyway, now I'm going to be talking about PCs. Because my mate has recently brought an Alienware Area 51. And he's paid £3,000. £3,000. And it still isn't better. Bringing up the same topic. It still isn't better than my PC. And I paid that much, or a little bit more than that, a year ago for my PC. And it's still not as good. You pay £3,000 for a PC that has a 2700 k which only costs £300, or £280, I believe. And all the parts in that PC, I basically rounded it up to around about 1700 It has got 580 SLIs. Now, fantastic. 580s slide really good not worth not worth that much money now if i were to add it all up two gtx 580s just say the maximum you'd be paying there is in pounds round about 700 pounds so 700 pounds for that round about just say 300 pounds for the processor that's a thousand uh ram he's only got eight gig ram no yeah eight gig ram which uh, Alienware's only support, no, he's got 12 gig RAM. So Alienware's only support 12 gig RAM unless you get 8 gig DIMMs, which means you can get 32 gig, no, 24 gig RAM. Sorry, brain fuck. But which means you can get 24 gig RAM, but they've only got four DIMM slots, not the normal standard six or eight. What the fuck is this tank doing? You fucking, are you drunk? You drive into me, poor bag. But no, like, they only have four dims, which is ridiculous. Considering you're paying three grand on a PC, fuck, it, they don't even tell you how many dim slots it has. They don't even tell you the motherboard, because the motherboard is customly built for the Alienware, I believe. I'm not too sure, but I've never actually seen the make of the Alienware board. I haven't actually looked inside the Alienware PC ever. Like, the new ones. So, like I said, I have an Aurora. And the PC inside looked like a bunch of shit. But I haven't looked inside the new ones. They should have like really nice interior cases wise. Should be really nice. But I'm not too sure, so I can't really say. All I know is is for the price of specs are terrible. I personally I have a 990X at 4.2 gigahertz. I can overclock it to 4.8. Ah shit. Can overclock it to 4.8. But I don't normally overclock it to 4.8 because 
I don't need 4.8 for anything. Like in about a year to come, I'd probably overclock it to 4.8 purely just to keep up with the trend and keep up with all the other processors. There's no need to. Like if I don't have to do anything, if, if I don't need it, then I won't use it. It's like, what's the point in overclocking to 4.8 and your PC just being on standby? No point. You might as well just have fucking 4.2 or just 3. Point, the standard 3.4. There's no point buying an extreme edition if you're not going to overclock it. But I've got 24 gigabyte RAM, 990X. I have uh, two GTX 580s SLIs. My RAM is 1800, so like the speed of it. Water cooling. Thinking about getting advanced water cooling though, because my fans inside, like my case, generally pick up a lot of dust. That's another thing that I'm going to be doing is. Tell, like showing people how to clean their PCs, which is really basic and simple. It does involve a hoover on the exterior. Never put a hoover on the inside of your PC because it can create static and fuck your PC. It's never up. What the fuck? I missed him. Where are you, Jamal? Go, gotta catch Jamal. That was a Pokemon Black joke, by the way. <laughs> I don't even think if anybody is this far in, I have no clue. But I actually think I might end the commentary here. Because it is way over 20 minutes. So I was looking at the clock and it's like, I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. So anyway, boys and girls, I have been Quonky. We are going to win this because we are pushing quite well. Anyway, boys and girls, I have been Quonky. Take it easy. And stay tuned for my next Rush Rape and Pillage on Team Fortress 2. Peace. It won't be live that time because it just won't be live. Headshot! I'm, I'm just going to carry on playing this game. I don't even care. But this commentary is going to end. So take it easy. Comment in the description below. Whether you managed to watch it all. You, know, you can just sit there watching. Eat, drink, eat, eating a cup of tea. What the fuck? Drinking a cup of tea watching it just listening to me to be honest it's quite a fun thing to listen to i think anyway i've been quonky fuck and i died it's a bad way to end commentary but i'm 25 to 8 ah i got revived it did not count oh my jesus i am fucking scarface take it easy boys and girls peace